Here's Chris Thompson with sports. We kick things off with the Bruins taking on the Capitals and opening up the scoring is John Carlson getting one past Tuka Rask. Jump ahead to the second and David Krejci puts a high hit on Alexander Ovechkin. No call on the play. Now in the third and Evgeny Kuznetsov dumps off a sneaky pass from Marcus Johansson giving the Caps a 3-0 lead. Boston would try their best to put the puck in the net but Capitals goalie Braden Holtby would have none of it. Holtby becomes the first goalie in NHL history to shut out the Bruins in a season series as Washington holds on to take this one. Now as you can see, with the Bruins loss in the Senators' miracle comeback Tuesday, the wildcard hunt becomes even tighter. Both Ottawa and Boston play tonight while the Penguins play Friday. Now into some hoops, Raps taking on Hornets and James Johnson sporting a new do. Let's see if it helps him tonight. Early in the first, Jonas Valanciunas gets a block and then on the offensive end catches a sweet alley pass from Grievous Vasquez. Midway through the second and it's big to big with Chuck Hayes finding Tyler Hansgrove for the strong flush. Raps are running away with this one. Up by 21 in the fourth, James Johnson pulls the six spin move for the score. It's gotta be the hair, right? Raps beat the Hornets 92-74. This is their first win against Charlotte since 2010. Blue Jays taking on the Yankees in their second game of the year. Top of the third, Jays up 2-1. Devin Travis with the ground ball to D.D. Gregorius. Good grab, bad throw. That allows for Kevin Pillar to score. Off a wild pitch, Brian McCann tries to pick off Edwin Encarnacion, but he gets back, throws off, and Jays pick up the score, making it 3-1. Enter Brett Cecil, and let's just say he was a little off. The Yankees will score off of that that and this as the ball snuck past Jose Reyes and the Yankees would take a 4-3 lead. Well, I guess he's gone. Top of the ninth, Reyes hits it short to Steven Drew. Low throw, but Mark Desaire scoops it and snags it and that would be the end of the game. That's also the end for sports. Back to you, Jessica.